I'm so excited filming these videos for you all because I know it's things you need to know. And as you guys know, if you think of family genie, you are thinking of value. And if you think of value, you're thinking of family genie. I will always give you value on the platter. That is what I'm here for. Okay, I want to talk about the planting season in this new year. Planting season in 2024. Please, farming has upgraded. I want to start with that. Farming has upgraded. Farming has gone beyond you just acquiring thousands of land and planting, getting your seed. Okay, any consultation, how do I plant it? It has gone beyond that. You can have $200 million. I'm not saying Naira. $200 million. And you plant, and you plant, and you plant. And at the end of the day, you will make zero million Naira. Yes. Zero Naira. Let me remove the middle. So you will not think it's one kind last thing. You will make zero Naira. So what am I saying? If you're going into plants in this season, go with the mindset of a businessman. Go with the mindset of a businessman. So I launched a business recently, not recently, last year, the whole of last year. I launched a business. And the first month I knew the business was profitable. The second month I knew the business was profitable. The third month I knew the business was profitable. And what I did was I went to expand my knowledge in that business. I went to ask people that have been doing that business since. I went to meet them. I paid to speak. One even charged me as high as, but I paid to get it. And let me tell you something. From September to December, my income was times. My, my, is it my income? My sales was times four of previous months. You need to gain knowledge in this family season for this year. You need to gain knowledge. Now I want to run you down something. That is why I'm bringing this video so you guys will see. It. I already have it written now. So if you see me looking down, I don't want to miss any points that I've written. So I have my phone here. I don't want to miss any points that I've written. Now you've gotten your farmland. Get as many farmers as you want to get. Get one million acres. I don't mind. But start with the one that your funds mm, can finish. Don't don't say because you've gotten 10 hectares, for example, and you want to cultivate the 10 hectares because at the moment you have the money that will cover it. What of after that season and you are broke? How will you run it? What of after that season and something flops? How will you run it? So if you have 10 hectares, Hectares, I said, start with maybe five acres. Yes. Now, why am I saying this? For every farm this year, I think I've said this a couple of times, but I have to repeat it. For every farm this year, you need one farm manager. You need two farm workers. Now, let me tell you something about farm workers. Okay, in my next video, I'm going to talk about um, farm workers. A lot of people reached out to me to help them get farm workers this year. So, I'll be talking about it in the next video, how it went, what and what and what happened. But don't let us divert. So, every farm has to have one farm manager, at least one. And they have to have two farm workers. Now, look at where I'm saying farming is no longer choice pay. And the only people that have money that can farm this season. Experienced farm manager salary start from 150,000 naira monthly say the farm manager get experience and you just want to start with township township for him some may go for 100,000 but if you really want to get value out of it 150,000 coach i know you've been watching this video coach man please how much do you pay that your farm manager i think i, I just hope she she responds to the comments 150,000 naira monthly is what experienced farm manager collect per month you see, you have to calculate it. So if you are paying your family around fifty thousand naira per month, and it's twelve months, that's milli milli. How will you get that money back? You have to think about it before you even start cultivating. One, number two, hardworking farm workers. If you want to get farm workers and you want to pay them monthly, that's the money will contain their feeding, their feeding, their accommodation, and everything. It has to be between some will call it fifty thousand naira. Some call it 60,000 naira. Some call it 70,000 naira. But from 50,000 naira. I saw a post on Naira Land. Yes, someone said he's looking for farm manager, a farm worker that will collect 5,000 naira monthly. And I was like, Nibo, Nibo, let's fair. Let me sit down. <laughs> you cannot. You cannot. That's, if even though you see, they will just leave your work and your crop will be growing on its own <laughs> with the help of God. You cannot see it. So now let's assume you are paying 
your farm manager 150,000 naira a month. You are paying your farm worker, the two farm workers 100,000 naira a month. That's 50,000 50, naira. Multiply it. Are you seeing this? Another thing is you need to have a farmhouse. Yes. If you don't have a farmhouse, your farm location, your the village must be close to your farm. So if the village is close to your farm, you need to buy maybe a machine or car that will be driving from the your the village to your farm location. That's if you don't have your farmhouse in the and the and the in, on your farm. If you don't have a farmhouse on your farm, so you need to get more to settle for them to be moving. And a bajaj now, a bajaj. The budget okay let me move to the next one for those that don't want to pay their farm um, workers money you want to settle with bajaj bajaj showed me shaggy last time i'm going to tell you here. so when i started farming i used to get bajaj for i think i've gotten bajaj for one twenty thousand and bajaj went to second my first time was one twenty thousand naira. my second year i think one eighty thousand naira. this year i got bajaj for three hundred and eighty thousand naira. I said this last year, I got my judge for 380,000 naira, and that 380,000 naira I would have begged. I think immediately you bought that judge the next month. The bad, I think currently, as I'm filming this video, I just like 500 and something thousand naira. That is what you'll be saying, and it might be more. Bajaj may even get to maybe 700,000 naira by November this year when you want to settle your workers. And minus the Bajaj, you have been feeding them, you will spend like maybe 20k monthly for feeding 20k monthly times plus Bajaj. See that it is money. Boom. I don't want to miss the script. Let me go back to what I'm saying now. If you want to build a farmhouse on your farm, I'm not a construction man person, but I know that two bedroom or three bedroom, there's a farm I visited where there's face my face. I know how much is block now, I know how much is cement now. You will not spend nothing less than maybe two million naira. I don't know, you just guess it might be more, but I know you will not spend nothing less than two million naira to build a farmhouse for them on the farm. All these expenses, where did they enter? They will talk about the money used to buy seed. They will talk about your transportation cost. Don't let me miss it, Sha. Now, um, with all this I just mentioned, you can see that farming is not just for anybody now. It's for people that has money. But you can have money and still not be in this family. It's a people that has money, that has the right knowledge, that has access to the right information. Because if you're spending this kind of money to set up, you've never set up the farm. So just this is like pre-farming period. If you're spending this type of money, you need to make the money back from your family. Okay. So this year I want to talk. I will be teaching you guys um, um how to calculate a seed your seed for each seed how to account for each seed i'm talking about it maybe later in my video this channel this year you will don't know what that is talking for many series so what am i saying with this video think it through this year before you put in your money in agriculture am i saying farming is not profitable no 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 no, no. but things can go so so right and you become a billionaire overnight and things can go so so wrong and you still become a billionaire in the other way overnight so yes if you are putting your money in this business that we are seeing make sure that you are putting all your mind in the business so that you can make money from it don't just put your farm manager and say oh my farm manager is going to be my next video i'm going to talk about that don't just be a farm manager there and say my farm manager will be no now your money now your sweat okay for those that are not in the country please don't bother doing short-term crops go for long-term crop check my other video where i talk about investment it's important to check it out so you know where to invest your money in this planting season okay i hope you got value these are just informations i think you should know before we go into the teaching in proper so everyone say family Julie did not tell us i told you all all right i'm going to see please leave a comment in the comment section this year we are commenting leave a comment in the comment section and i'm going to see you my next video.